Now there's multiple ways to access your OneDrive files through a browser, but I'm going to show you the method that is pretty much bulletproof for any file you might want to access. And that's by going via office.com. So if you type in office.com into the URL bar in Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome, Firefox, in any browser, when you type it, the first thing just to double check is which account you're logged in as. Now, if you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in. And if you are logged in, just click over on the right hand side and just double check you're on the account that you want to access the files for. So like this is my work account, for example, but I've also got another account. I've got a personal account and they've all potentially got different files. So if I want my work files, I need to be on my work account. And then all I need to do is go over to the waffle on the top left hand corner. Now this exists in any Microsoft app you might use. You've always got this waffle as a quick way of navigating between Microsoft products. Click on the waffle and then click on OneDrive. And that's the way you can access all of your files and folders. And from there, any Microsoft files, you can very easily just click on and edit directly in the browser. So I've not even left Microsoft Edge and I can edit these files. So that's the best way of accessing your files through a browser and they'll all automatically save and everything as you're editing them, which is fantastic. And um, I would suggest bookmarking if it's something you're regularly visiting. So you can see on my Microsoft Edge setup in the top left hand corner, I've got a little cloud. That's my bookmark for OneDrive. So if I want to quickly get to my files, I've got to only press one button and I'm straight in. If that's something that might interest you to make you a bit more efficient, I've got full videos on how to set up things like your bookmarks bar in Microsoft Edge in the Edge section.